Well, in a stream where you're going to talk about music and stuff, it kind of sucks if people can't hear the music. <laughs> yep. All right. Well, hello again, everybody, and welcome back to Massively Overpowered Television, where we are so overpowered, apparently blew in-game music out of all the streams today. I'm hoping you guys are saying that you can hear what's going on right now. I mean, OBS is telling me it's there, so if you can't hear it, then I don't even know. Wait! You can hear it? Oh, hallelujahs and happy days, and I have no... Well, actually, I do have an idea why it might have happened, but restarting OBS, we are working, we are good to go. Yeah! So now, what we're going to do is I'm going to herald you with my beautiful rendition of... Mary had a little lamb, or, or we could do something different. MJ, <laughs> MJ had a little dragon, <laughs> little dragon, <laughs> little dragon. <laughs> J had a little dragon. It's fire was. Hot and burned everybody to a crisp. <laughs> All right, so now that we have in game sounds, and you guys can tell that instruments are all playable. I'm not hearing in game sounds. You're not, again, wait, why did somebody say they could hear it? I have no idea. And, and all I can hear is me every time you talk. <laughs> oh, man. Um. Wow, okay. All right, well, let's try something else. Let's let's crank music to the top. Music is, is up as far as I can go. This is going to break my eardrums. Can you guys hear that? Oh, nine, zero and nine don't work. Yeah, now I can hear it. I can, hear I can hear summon game music. Yeah, I can hear the piano now. <laughs> okay, well, all right. So basically, I can hear it, and I had to crank music up. Actually, I'm going to have to crank music down because, oh, well, that's master volume. Oh, instruments. Instruments up. Music down. Okay, let's try that. Let's try that. There we go. We've got music up, instruments down a little bit. Now this is just pressing one through eight on your own, but it does That's ABC better. files. E gads, can you turn it down some every so when you talk, I'm not reverberating back over the speaker so bad. <laughs> Anyway, so there you go. So all my really cool spiel about, you know, music and everything. Anyway, I'm, I'm going to get up and move and let real people play if they want to. Um, but there is an ABC music system. And uh, in the article that's going to be coming out either today or tomorrow. Oh, jeez. No, I don't want to, like, stab the cat or something. What the heck? Um, <laughs> it's you can... Um, start playing things like in Lotro and stuff and the music the article actually I just distracted myself is talking about doing the same thing with dancing it's it's gonna be really cool I'm very excited so all right I said we were gonna go run out and um, I'm not even gonna bother with selling stuff anymore I, I just want to run get out of town now <laughs> want to get out of town <laughs> oh my goodness yeah so hmm Sorry, guys. Uh, we'll try to get that all worked out. Right now, let's just... Did you buy more arrows? Are you feeling more comfortable with more arrows? I have 200 now, so hopefully that'll be enough. All right. Well, let's just pick a direction. Pick a direction and run. Oh, and all the vendors are supposed to get different looks at some point. That'll be nice. Bowler Lane. 
Wasn't that the cemetery out there? Resident Loop? Uh. Oh, wait, is this Resident Loop? I don't care. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna run in the vast wilds. Uh, now, actually, I do know the zones. There are only certain places you can move in between the zones. So at some point, we're going to find an edge. Maybe sooner than we think. Over here. Right here. <laughs> Alright, so. So apparently, i got to stay on the road. Okay, alright. Yeah, I've got a picture. I've used this picture a few times. <laughs> Ah, oh, so, so a Star Wars game with a no in-game music. I mean, that no in-game sounds like it's kind of like, what on earth good was? <laughs> I, today, you know what? Today is like a new Monday for me. It's it's Wednesday, right? Though it's Wednesday. Today has been totally Monday for me. Oh well, look, it's equipping the avatars. Oh, me avatars? It giving me equip? <laughs> Ooh. Travel between towns and areas of adventure in the game is accomplished using the overworld map. This is a large interactive map of the world. Yes. Oh, it has been a long time since I've done this. So, yeah, look at this. So, basically, it's, it's like traveling. This game is a lot about storytelling and old-time D&D running, I swear to you. So, uh, it's like you can run along this little map and go places and, and run around to wherever the next town is and you might get hit with a... I, I remember the last time I did this was getting hit with a random encounter and see you're, you're you know, like a giant running around on this thing. <laughs> Important locations are designated. You feel like... You do feel like a god kind of running around. Ancestor, Mazer Meter, the Phoenix Republic. Is this the town? The Phoenix town? Ooh, let's check it out. Nevenshire? There are... How, the player towns, man. Ooh. Um, Sky, you're talking about people saying the game looks good in terms of graphics. I don't think it's bad. It's not, I mean, I there are, are styles and stuff that are... It, it fits the style for me. So I guess that... <laughs> Starbuck. MJ walking through the woods makes you want to listen to Sam and the Sham and the Pharaoh's Little Red Riding Hood. <laughs> Yeah, it's, I don't know. I, I It's not like I'd say, oh my gosh, the graphics near are amazing, but I don't think they're as bad as some people like to say. Some people are graphics snobs. That's okay. <laughs> I am, in my own way, a bit of a graphics snob. Um, but it, it's weird. It's It's like art. It's like music. I can like it and not necessarily have properties to tell you what I like about it or anything so much as that I just want it just it fits like for me the graphics in here they fit they feel nice and old style we hope you enjoy your first visit to a key so I guess this is a yep Nevenshire is is a player player town player area so so people actually got these uh lots for player towns and if you you backed early on so that with an amount you get like tax-free property i never had enough to do anything like that so so i didn't but if you come in and oh i think you have to go to the banker and claim it and you can get a did you get your lottery ticket for housing every um, not that I saw. I don't think I... 
I don't know what I can't remember what tier I got. You have no, no, so. no, no. This is something they're doing right now. Everybody, every player gets a lottery ticket. And he, basically, last time around, every single person who applied on the lottery ticket got a plot, uh, you know, a land. Um, and so you, if you get this big, some people may, you know, they get these big things and people can put their plots inside their cities. You don't have to um, clear the land. You can have people put their houses like in between. Uh, so this is, this is somebody's city area. So I'm curious. Are there any houses built in it? Not that I can see it. I didn't see a note mentioning that it was um, PvP either, so... I don't think we're gonna be... So if you go into a zone that is PvP and requires you to be flag PvP, it'll tell you, oh look, here we go, here comes a town. So all this land is player town. And look at this. Oh, that looks like that's going to be good farmland. Or maybe that's where they build more houses. Oh yeah, I guess it's... I'm all... Ooh, it's nice and flat. It's also cobblestone, so... <laughs> Starbuck, I had Super Pong. Really sad, uh... And I was in college, somebody stole my Super Pong set from my home. Back home. Same with my great-grandfather's violin. That one broke my heart. Weapon shop. Somebody's weapon shop. Well, that's an NPC building. Wow, lots of little alleyways. <laughs> Whoa, hey! Well, this is cool. So are these people's houses? <gasps> Maybe, but I'm walking in. Shoreside Apartments, man. These are probably going to go for a pretty penny. <laughs> Come right out to the dock if you got a, a ship. The town crier, what's he going to say? Is he going to say anything? Oh, if I kick him in the shins, will he cry? So I guess these are just little townhouses. <laughs> kind of cool. So you got room for a, a kitchen, a little dining thing, and uh, two rooms back here. One for you and, or I guess just the one. Yeah, one for you here and one for your prisoner that you lock in over there. <laughs> Oh my goodness, this is interesting for me. This, I'm... Um... So was the bridge always here, or was this something he had to place? I am unsure. We need to go kill things that need money. <laughs> well, I think we need to get out of the player sinks. I don't think there's anything to kill in here. So how do we get back out? <laughs> do windows open? Oh, you know what? That's a good question. I would think so. So let me go and... There you go. And you can look out of them. Shouldn't leave all these fires going, though, and all these empty houses, man. Just begging to be burnt down. 
so I wonder if this is all stuff that he gets as the town owner or if some players have actually um, placed buildings. Well, this is an NPC shop for an armor merchant. Dude, would you like to buy some of my stuff? Armor dude, you want to buy some of these Rusty hammers? Sure you do. And a shoddy short bow. I wonder if I'd get more. Okay. I want to see if I get more. 14 and 15. If I can actually get more from the weapons dealer that we passed. Ooh, let's check that out. So the weapon dealer was... Where was he? He was somewhere near this beginning. Am I turned around? Maybe? Oh, what's this? Home shop. Ooh, there's the weapon, dude. So 14 and 15. Do we get more if we sell weapons to a weapon, dude? <coughs> Let's see. What? He'll give me less? Hmm. Dude, he gave me less. I want to go back and sell back to the armor guy who'd buy it for more. Welcome to the humble store. That's pretty cool. Oh, hey, a well. Can you do anything? Oh, uh, guess not. I guess the housing one... Oh, I guess the housing one had maybe furniture and stuff in it. I wonder if you can buy... All right, so we got to find our way back out. <laughs> hmm. So vendors will buy stuff for different amounts, but not in a way that makes sense to me. Maybe just because the other guy had more. Like, now that he has more, will he give me a, a worse price as well? Let's try it again. Rusty Hammer. Oh, yeah, he's giving me... Wait a minute. Hmm. There you go, you can have those hammers. Huh. Did he just walk away from me while I was... While I was talking to him? How rude. Alright, did you... <laughs> so how do we find our way back out of here? It's a long walk of a really long pier. <laughs> It is not trespassing. Listen to us, King, and there's no breaking and entering. I mean, entering maybe, but there's no breaking. I didn't break anything, and they were uninhabited, so... <sighs> running, running... Anytime, cancel the exchange. What's it talking about? Note your current inventory fills from the left side of the vendor window. Drag the items from your inventory to the holding window. When you're done selecting the items. Sign the exchange. I'm just, I'm running. I'm reading while I'm running. This is probably a bad idea, but. You sure this is the way out? <laughs> we could just be running randomly in some direction. I'm pretty sure 
pretty certain this is the way out. Uh, Starbucks says I need bubonic plague to go with the era. Thanks. Thanks, my friend. Oh, so something people will start noticing. Like, a lot of the trees are very similar right now. Um, very same, because that was like the Unity um, asset thing that they got. But they're actually doing a new thing. This was taken out of both articles, because there just wasn't room. It didn't quite fit. Um, but they have this new, new way to do it, where they can put in trees that actually have more variation to them. Uh, they also load faster. They will also change with the seasons um, seasons change so that's pretty neat so the the look of stuff is gonna start being different Starbucks wants me to have bubonic plague really Starbucks okay so we got back out of there alright so we need to go find somewhere to hunt and fight and that tower looks, um, dangerous. Is that where you want to go? To the Shuttered Eye? Yes. I, it was there. I just went over and looked at it because I didn't know what it was. <laughs> I was hoping we'd get to do something more overland. I wanted something open. But everything seems... Oh, here's something over here. Or doesn't... I don't see... The West Veiled Swamp. That sounds perfectly safe. Totally safe. I'm sure this is completely safe and well. And <laughs> I'm 40 feet behind you. We're ready to go. <laughs> I'm still loading. <laughs> When I load in, I'm throwing your uh, carcass in front of me. <laughs> what? I heard something. It seemed like it growled. Oh, this place looks cool. Oh, let's... Let's equip my bow. I forgot, is there a quick quip, equip? Yeah, Z. Z. Good. See, I don't know. I mean, people complain about the graphics, but I like it. It's it's medieval, it's old, it's kind of gritty. To each his own. To each his own. I feel like I'm in that uh, World War II shooter. Carefully look around the corners. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Oh, wait, I'm not moving. There I am. Well, so you do have to turn around. Whoa, whoa, whoa! That's a big sword he's got. That's alright. Oh, that's a good. Go after her. Oh, shoot! He leashed! Well, that flippin' sucks. Considering how close we had- oh, but he's still down a little bit. Okay, that's nice. Oh, did I run out of arrows or something? No, it says I have 99 plus. There you go. You wanted some money? There's some money. I really try to be grown up about games now, but I'm such a sucker for graphics. Resist, resist. <laughs> assess the gameplay. Yeah, no, um, do assess the gameplay, but do realize that this is an incomplete game. This is really cool looking. 
Shall we wait on you till you're fully healed? Before we go step If you in... want to take the hits, feel free to go ahead. I'll try to take the hits this time. Hey, I got him on me. Just trying to trade. Okay, there's one, two at the other side. Oh, there's people there. Is that more people or are those sc Ah! Oh! Oh, dear. Oh. Those little head things I saw. Okay, that was three of them. I'm somehow thinking this is going to be, um... Did you just take two of them? Okay, we run one, ran one off. So much death. Oh, whoo! Miss. Oh. Yeah, it looks like they all eat. Wow. Yeah, three at once. As he lays himself back on the ground. Eww! Wow, I don't think... Is there any way to get just one? I don't... Hmm. Woo! Did I enjoy having Smed on here? Yes! It was... It was nice. It actually... It helps a lot, too. I think when you have somebody in stream with you and you're... Uh, you know, the repartee is going back and forth... One person can ask questions, and uh, it just it makes conversation flow better than when you guys get me just talking to you randomly. <laughs> I do oh, oh, another one incoming. I I think you probably want to go a different direction. All right, I got this one. Got him on me. Again, I see your end. No, no, no. See if I can get him before he re replenishes his health. Oh, dude, how far did he go? Where the heck did he come from? Well, this is kind of cool that he doesn't totally replenish his health. Ah, oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Okay. Maybe that was not as good of an idea. I'm every year looking- okay. Every year not looking so good. I think maybe you should, uh... Okay. Alright. I'm thinking I should definitely probably not run in here. This does not look like a safe place to run. Alright. Um. Um. This is a road. That road is going towards more ruins. I don't think that's going to be a safe place to run either. Oh! See, there's something there. Ah! Ah! Lizards galore! Oh crud, and I found like the edge of the map. Okay, alright. Oh, it's not just a lizard, it's a small crocodile. Oh crud, more. Ah! Oh hi, where did you come from? There are a couple of crocodiles following me. One's a caiman and one's a small crocodile. Yeah, but I have no idea where you are. I'm right next to you! Stop running away from me! What are you doing? <laughs> no, you I... were behind me. I had no idea where you were. <laughs> no, I do. Like, what the heck? <laughs> oh my gosh. Am I... What? Oh, shoot. My target thing changed. How did... What did... You've just had an item that is in danger of being broken due to wear and tear. When an item is exhausted, it offers no benefits. Um, ooh. Ooh, I'm gonna skin a corpse. And then I got me an animal hide! 
and I'm pretty sure it's trying to tell me that my bow is basically about to be broken. And I kept some of those other bows, right? Or did I sell them all? Oops. I sold those short bows. Oh, crud. <laughs> um, so, let's see. No. Oh, see. No, durability is 68. So what is it that's about to break? Maybe your clothes. I just looked at my clothes. My clothes are all max. What? Oh, I, I don't know. Maybe okay, you then. something in your inventory. Oh, yeah, maybe. I don't know. Oh, yeah, something in here. Like, I have a broken staff in here. I have a lesser staff that's close to breaking. Rusty hammers. All right, shall we, <laughs> shall we try this again? Uh, and Hero Song, yeah, if you guys want to check that out, the interview with Smedley is right on MassLVOP.com. So just check Could out you the... Can heal me? Can I heal you? Yeah, come back and hit your heal. Uh, looked like a little bit. Get closer to me. You got a couple points. You're greedy. There we go. Because on mine, I didn't get the last one. Uh, the, the one before that, but I can see it in my tab that I was still was healed by uh -huh. Angel. Woo! Okay. Oh, and look so at the look at the light. Each other, we can heal each other. All right. So stay next to each other then, if we can. Or if you start getting low in health, I gotta run close to you, and I can throw heal, and you'll get it. Yep. Well, I have you targeted, so I wonder if it'll do it even if I don't have you targeted. Who? I mean, look, the sun's going down, guys, and it's raining, crud. I, there are those three. I don't know that we can get just one of them. Did you just buff yourself? No. Oh, I just saw something come up on your... Yeah, it's on yours, too. Okay, what are it's these? I forget yours. what these invisible skeletons laying around are. That's me. That's where I died. Oh! Oh. Alright, well, let's, um... See if we can get one. Nope. See if we can get all to... Oh, jeez. And, I mean, do we want one of us healing and holding a torch? Because... Why do I suddenly have a different target thing? It... Alright, they all unleashed. Oh. Alright, so hang on a second. I'm going to pull up. Okay, so I'm going to equip a torch, and I'm going to be prepared with healing. So I will offer us light. Wait, did it get that much light from the torch? Suddenly everything looks lighter. What the... I'm not sure. Alright, I'm gonna, hang on. I'm going to take the, the torch off for a second. I want to see if how dark it goes. I think maybe a moon's up and we just can't see it because of the rain. Okay, yeah, something came up and made it a little lighter. So do you think it's a light enough or do you want me to keep the torch on? It's light enough for me. I don't know if it helps the stream or not. Oh. Well, you know what? Let's go ahead and try. But go pick one and not three. As soon as I enter the area, they all pop. I know, that's, that's why I come to, to the side. side. Come around the side and pick the one or something. And I will hold a torch and try to heal you. That will be my goal. 
There's two coming. This one's a little Whoops. skeleton, so I'm gonna take it Whoops. first. <laughs> I think that worked. Uh oh. Yeah, that's uh oh. I I don't think you should be stuck there. Crud. That did not work. Do it again. That did not work. You got one dead. Yeah, it wasn't quite an area. I did have to be targeting you and to be close to you. Oh, great. Small crocodiles coming after me. Okay. Um, I'm back at the entrance. Oh, look. I can run and try to switch to my bow. the bow equipped twice all right well yeah I equipped the bow and I still can't do anything with it so I will just come and target you and heal you So why couldn't I... I mean, I guess it's a different kind of bow? I guess a short bow is different than the bow that I had, or... Oh! I'm out of arrows. Did I really use that many arrows? I did! That would be my problem. That's why the bow is not working. <laughs> yep, and oh, there is a there is a little sign up on the top. See there up in the corner? Arrow with a big red X through it. So I guess, um, I mean, I, I intentionally meant to stay as a torch only. That's, so basically, that's what we're doing. Torching and healing every... I'm, well, I mean, not torching every, but... <laughs> oh my. Woo! Wait, stop healing me, Every. Your heals are going off on me. Right, when we're standing close like this, all we do is heal each other. No, if you don't target me, they should just heal you. Like, if you turn and don't target me, it should heal you. 
don't target me and don't shoot me in the back. It's the target's on you. I can't get it off. Turn around. And I'm almost healed, so. Well, I'd still like to see, make sure that that works. Like, can't you turn your character around like I did? Like, physically, just turn around? Face a different way? See? Even with me standing right next to you. You healed yourself. You just can't be faced on and targeted on me. Okay, well, I've got the um, impressive torch. Alright, I'm down to 96 arrows, so. <laughs> I could pull out a sword. Oh, wait, I think you can do a sword in one hand and a torch in another. I think I'm gonna go left instead of into the building. There we go. Look, I just equipped a mace. Except I have no mace skills, so I bet all I can do is kind of auto attack, but better nothing, right? Maybe? Hopefully. Oh, wait, there's a sword symbol up there. Does that mean. How do I get the. So I can see it anyway. Alright, let's try it. Let's try a sword instead. See if I can do anything. Yeah, I've got auto attack. I can do that at least. And then I can target you and heal. Wow, that little croc is spilling the blood, man. Ooh. don't like the animations. I'm not big for massive animations that make it so you can't even see what you're doing. I'm hoping that will calm down some. Give her an arrow to the knee. Are you trying to give every ideas? I already tried that like six or seven times. It doesn't work. <laughs> oh, Alien Legion is telling you just press F1 to target yourself, and then no matter if you're facing me, then you'll... Well, of course, regular group thing, Thank you. so... So that means F2. I should probably target you. Yeah, there you go. Wait, what's this? It's a tree stump. Oh. So, I'm still targeted on you, and I'm not facing you. Can I still heal you? Nope, I healed myself. So, alright, nope, I need to be facing you in order to heal you. But to heal yourself, okay. Shoot, you just healed me again. Or no, by me. Okay. Alright. I need to figure out how to get some wood, and I guess... I don't know what arrows are made out of, because i got to figure out how to make arrows or I'm going to go broke. Uh -huh. Can we chop a tree here? <laughs> well, not this tree at least. I guess. I don't know. Probably need a... an axe. Oh wait! I have an axe, I bet! I have a lot I of have tools. A axe, but I can't do anything with it. Destroy selected items? What? Maybe I have to have. Huh. 
Huh. Oh, something to figure out. And no, don't necessarily want all the answers, folks. I like learning about new games. Right now, let me pay attention to healing every. And not using that key, which just moves me forward. Alright. Okay, 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 okay. You're worrying me, you're worrying me, you're worrying me! No! No! Let's see if I live through this. I shall avenge the every! With a weapon I have no skills in! Whoa, whoa! Oh, look, it's a dancing crocodile. Who has more health than me? You have heal potions. Go ahead and use them. I do, but. Oh, crud, I don't want to be running that way. It didn't seem like much of a heal potion. No, it's not much. If you can get behind it, can you avoid hits? Is that a thing? Get away from its teeth and avoid hits? Not sure. Oh dear, okay. I'm running towards you now. Ah! Uh, now, do you have to pick anything up from your corpse? No, nope, not so far. Wow. Okay then. Starbuck is saying MJ shall fall to the death counter today. The death counter always wins. Alien Legion, the average mob is too hard in this game. I'm sick of having my butt kicked by wolves and crocodiles. A skeleton might as well be the red dragon. Um, it has been kind of rough. Of course, we're in a zone that's not the newbie zone, so... I'm out of arrows. Uh oh. Then maybe get up and run? Unless you want to try the sword with me, but it seems to not do a whole lot of damage. So, why on earth does it keep knocking you down? It's gonna knock back. I'm like not attack. I'm not getting any damage in. There we go. I'm swinging and missing, and swinging and missing, swinging and missing. I I say we abort every abort. All right, head to the entrance. Is that this way? I'm not even exactly sure. I think so. Abort! Abort! Hit your four. Yep, this is not the entrance. I have no idea where the entrance is. You do. You've been there a few times. I'll follow where you go. I will follow you. Follow you wherever you may go. Oh crud. Isn't a skeleton too deep? Now, this is going to be bad. I'm going to hopefully lose everything that I'm picking up right now. That's my goal, because I have absolutely no idea where the front is. Oh, and you're leaving the zone, okay. I just entered back in. That's right, I'm gonna, f oh, I found the gate, I found the gate! I found the gate. Is the skelly still on me? Haha, <laughs> no. Whew, well, we said we were gonna find some adventure, but we gotta go get more arrows and stuff. We gotta figure out how to make arrows. 
At least one of us should make arrows, I guess. I want to start uh, getting skills in something not arrow, like magic or healy. So I'm going to need to talk to the skill guys and start getting some... <laughs> I think this is really a bit over our heads. <laughs> Uh, no build, this game is not free to play, and it's not even out yet. It's in early access development. You can get it via Steam, but you do have to uh, to buy it. Um, there have been times where they have had bundles where it's been cheaper. Uh, I, I think the summer sale might have been cheaper. So, the game won't be free to play when it goes out either. Uh, Lord British does not believe... I believe it's it's gonna be buy to play. All right, let's go back to the. Oh, are you out yet? Yep, I'm back at Soul Town. Oh, wow, you. <laughs> you can kind of just check out the. I mean, I'd like to run from here to there to there. See, I've lost my mouse again, and I can't hit enter. What? Okay. Just hit tab and you get your mouse back. Ah, there we go. Lots of little things to learn, little things to learn. But I am very excited about the promise of this game. Because literally, I would like to be back in a game where I don't do combat. So it's really kind of funny. Some people are really dogging kind of on the combat here. And I get it. I understand. But I don't care. Because combat has nothing to do with what I want to play in the game. I want to do my... Uh, the whole thing that a friend and I had all planned out about, you know, owning a business, carving out a niche, and, you know, trading goods and information and stuff like that, that that to me is a whole lot of fun. I don't want to go out and hack and slash things. Now, I would love to go out in parties and uh, have other people who are surrounding me. I think it's really awesome when they're like bodyguards and, you know, uh, protecting you and stuff like that. I just, I, I don't. Okay, so if you've seen my Black Desert streams, I do enjoy fighting a little bit sometimes. I'm getting there. But I'm really looking forward to having a, a full non-combat gaming experience. And there aren't really games that let you do that with any meaning. EverQuest 2 has a ton of things that you can do, and I can decorate. I can decorate, but there's nothing I can do for other people or... That, that has meaning. It's all kind of made up. And I mean, I like telling stories, but I want to be a part of an interactive story. I want a story where people's choices and, and what they do like matters and develops the story and stuff. And I think I might be able to have that here. So I'm, I'm excited for that. I, you know, start up like Lotro, musical, playing music in Lotro. It's one of the reasons I still log in, you know. Um, I don't have a house in here because I know the minute I do, I'm a lost cause. I'll probably get a house in here soon. Oh, so where was it? You were supposed to get the ticket from like the banker or something? I have no idea. I'm trying to remember... Oh, we're in town. Let me unequip my sword, too. I, I'm i trying to remember the release notes had said where you pick up your... Claim rewards. How is it? There are no unclaimed rewards for this account. <laughs> Oh, what was it? The deed vendor has the lottery ticket. That makes perfect sense, but where on... 
where in New Britannia is the deed vendor? That, I, I don't even... Oh, this is really cool. Oh. Sorry, dudes, I didn't... Sorry. Sorry, I didn't mean to wake you... Oh, jeez. Wow, I feel rude. <laughs> I feel rude! Uh... Uh, I'm floating in the air on somebody's broom. <laughs> I was just flying on a broom, dudes! Okay, do you mind? She's rude. Oh, and here we have one of the radios. So you can tune into Avatar Radio or Radio Free Britannia. You can also add stations. Ooh. She's mean and evil and witchy and has a broom. I bet she's the one. <laughs> Emma. Emma the barmaid wears red. Oh, let's try. Can we talk to him? Hmm. Oh, he's talking to me. I think. Hey there, if you say so. Do you know anyone who wears red? Hmm. Did your barmaid set fire to Solus Bridge? Emma's our barmaid, and a fine lady she is. I emphasize lady. Please treat her with respect while I'm in. Oh. Well, then my guess, he doesn't think she set fire to Sola's Bridge. <laughs> oh, let's ask him his name. What is su nombre? Oh, tu nombre. Are we on, you know, close familiar terms here? Richard James. Hi, Richie. Hmm. <laughs> Bye, Richie. Oh, well, she's nice to me now. Um, so where is this deed vendor? I need to meet the deed vendor. Are you a deed vendor? If you're a deed vendor, I want to meet you. Oh, it's a bard, huh? I hope you enjoy music today. I can teach you how to sing if you're willing. I would love to learn how to sing. La 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 la. I've just learned to perform. Do you play music? Oh. Can you teach me music? I sing for my days or past and nights lodging. The innkeeper encourages many bards to visit during their travels. You are a bard. <laughs> We'll learn more from him later. Oh. Farewell, kind Barty. I've learned how to perform sing. Go me. I still need to figure out where that vendor is. Oh wait, none in Soul Town, but only in a big city? But I've got to claim my ticket so I have a chance at winning some land. This land is my land, this land is my land, I need to win land and make it my land. It'll have redwood forest and Gulfstream waters, this land was made for me and me. Ah. Dang it. So what's a big city? Big city. I've only I've only got a cut. Well, actually, we've done our time here. No deed vendor here, huh? 
I'll call out in local. Where might I find a deed vendor to relieve me of my coin? Let's see if anybody will answer me. Right, relieve me of my coin. Probably somebody's going to walk by and pickpocket me. <laughs> Nope, I'm not allowed. Apparently, since I'm in the party, I can't do that. Good. A Doris? Alright, let's end the stream by trying to find a Doris. I don't know which town is a Doris, though. And I can't really read the letters. <laughs> oh, I still have no arrows, though. But that's okay, I don't need arrows. I'm on a mission. Oh look, somebody actually mentioned a Doris. I shall look for a Doris then. I have no idea where a Doris is. Alright, what is the chance I will be able to find it? They said close by. Close by is a hint. Uh, so when you go out of town... Okay. An option to translate the letters into English. Well, yeah, but... Ooh, the mugs is saying southwest along the coast. Okay. I can do that. I can follow directions. Sort of. Alright, so, southwest, okay, along the coast, I don't see any towns along the coast, well, no, I guess there's one over there. It's not quite... Let's see what it says. Nope, that's East Veiled Swamp. Nope, don't want that. Huh. Oh wow, that looks like a big city or something up there. going pretty seriously northwest here, but and now it's southwesty again. A Doris! This is, this is so neat, like a figure up on a board, you know? Oh. Alright, alright, gonna look for the deed vendor. Deed vendor! Crud, do I have to ask everybody in this town what their name is first? That's gonna suck. We may have to end the stream so you guys aren't here while I go, what is your name? 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 Name, name. Are you still in town, Every? Nope. Yeah, Uncle Elias, it is like walking in miniature theme parks. You feel kind of like Godzilla tromping around. Dun, dun, dun. I just realized something, so... So my death counter that I fixed in order to use on my channel broke it to use here. Because now... Now both death counters are, are off. Oops. Yeah, I fixed it for my personal channel, and now it's... Uh, 
All right. So, are you in town with me? Or are you gonna? I am just Oops. about spawned in the door. As I have spawned. Whoops! I just messed that one up. Oh wow! All right. So, let's uh. Any hint, anybody, where this this deed guy is, so we don't spend an hour looking for him? Oh, we can ask a guard. We find a guard. These all look like players. There we go. Okay. Oh, location of bank is marked on the compass? Maybe he's in the bank. What? Oh. Not really in, like, conversation with him. Okay, what is your name? I am Abe. Hi, Abe. Where is the deed... Vendor? I don't know where that is. Thanks. Bye. Stay in line. Hmm. So he is at the bank. Alright. So now I just gotta figure out it marked the bank on my map. Oh, you are? Ooh, this looks cool. Some kind of temple-y thing. It's nice of it to uh, tell you where the bank is. I remember killing somebody's, like, chicken once. In <laughs> game. Okay. Hey, don't get mad at me. You're the one who walked into me, dude. Oh. I don't think I'm in the right building. Obsidian Crown Merchant, huh? Hope. Hail, Avatar. I am one of the group of scholars researching properties of the Crowns of Obsidian Order. Alright, I will talk with you about that later. I'm on a quest, dude. No, every... Where did my every go? He's in this door. There we go. Oh. Fancy bankers. Oh, this is just the bank guy. So, it should be another guy? A deed guy? Ooh, I can walk back here? <laughs> no, I'm not going to steal everybody's gold. Maybe he's upstairs. There's, oh, there is an upstairs, okay. Deed, dude, I need a deed. Ooh, you're a merchant. What kind of merchant are you? Oh, it's a carpenter. That doesn't sound right. Oh. MJ missed the stairs. Wait, there's nobody up here. Carpenter? Is he? Oh, maybe he is. Maybe the carpenter is a bank guy. Carpenter hammer, recipes. Uh... 
Wow, that's a lot of recipes. Well, I'm gonna have to look this up, and I don't have time to keep doing it now, so... Oh, lady NPC? Is that a lady NPC, or is that a player? Oh, hey, I thought that was a player. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I would. What is your name? I thought that was a player standing next to me, okay? Should have known it didn't have a name over the head, so. If you find a lot you're interested in purchasing, knock twice on the for sale sign. I'll send you the paperwork immediately. Oh, does she not have the lottery ticket, though? Is there no more lottery tickets? I don't even know how to... I know what was going on while I was at the, um, while I was at Dragon Con with the release. Hope it didn't end already. <laughs> but, um, oh, so now she's telling us about houses and all that good stuff. Awesome. Um, but I do need to head out. So we are going to have to call the stream now, finally. I want to thank everybody so much for coming in. If you want to learn more about Shroud of the Avatar, and why I'm kind of excited for the game to be coming out, then be sure to check MassivelyOP.com and my conversations with Richard Garriott. There are uh, spread out over two different articles covering a lot of non-combat stuff, but you can find information about combat and all that stuff also on the site. Check out the news and all that. You can follow me on Twitter. You can um, follow. Yeah. Stock massively. Stock map, mop, map, mop. Ah, uh, it's late. I need dinner. <laughs> I'm hoping you all have a fantastic night. Don't forget to keep checking the stream schedule to know what's going on. And appreciate having you all here with us tonight. Thanks so much, everybody. Have a great day. And we will see you manana. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, we'll play more tomorrow. You're only a few hours away. <laughs> Good night, folks. <laughs>